Hello everyone! This is Teacher Jinjin T. Gandesa at sa video na ito ay tatalakayin ko ang apat na operation on functions. Addition, Subtraction, Multiplication, Division of Functions. Ituturo ko ang step-by-step step na gagawin at magbibigay ako ng mga examples and practices. Just keep on watching. Hello mga anak shis! Welcome to Math TV PH. Ang channel na ito ay tungkol sa math tutorials, lectures, or discussions na Tagalog at Taglish na dedicated sa lahat ng mga estudyante. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat, kagaya nga ng sinabi ko ay tatalakayin ko ang apat na operation ang functions. Una, yung addition. So, the quantity of f plus g times x is equal to f of x plus f of g. Pangalawa, subtraction. The quantity of f minus g times x is equal to f of x minus f of g. Pangatlo, multiplication. The quantity of f times g times x is equal to f of x times f of g. Ang pangapat, division. The quantity of f divided by g times x is equal to f of x divided by f of g. Where g of x is not equal to 0. Hindi pwedeng maging 0 ang g of x kasi kapag 0 siya, magiging undefined yung sagot. Without further ado, let me give you an example. Una, the quantity of f plus g times x is equal to f of x plus g of x. This just says that to find the sum of two functions, add them together, you should simplify by finding like terms. For example, f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 3, and g of x is equal to 4x cubed plus 1. So, combine like terms, ano ang mga pwedeng i-add dito? Yung 3 lang at yung 1. Combine like terms and put in descending order. Ibig sabihin, pababa. So, yung value ng f of x, i-add lang natin doon sa value ng g of x. So, 2x squared plus 3 plus 4x cube plus 1. So, ito yung f of x, ito yung g of x. Combine like terms. Ang pwede lang i-add dito is yung 3 and 1. And, put in descending order. So, mauna yung 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4. Kasi 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Another one, to get the difference of functions, the quantity of f minus g times x is equal to f of x minus g of x. To find the difference between two functions, subtract the first from the second. Make sure you distribute the negative to each term of the second function. You should simplify by combining like terms. Kailangan yung negative i-distribute muna doon sa second term before you perform the operation. So, ang first f of x is 2x squared plus 3 minus 4x cubed plus 1. So, distribute the negative sign. So, itong positive 4x cubed magiging negative and then yung plus 1 magiging negative 1. Then, Meron tayong 2x squared plus 3 minus, ito yon minus 4x cubed minus 1. Kasi yung negative na i-distribute doon sa loob is equal to negative 4x cubed kasi kailangan mauna yung may pinakamataas na exponent plus 2x squared plus 2. Another operation on function is the multiplication. The quantity of f times g times x is equal to f of x times g of x. To find the product of two functions, put parentheses around them and multiply each term from the first function to each term of the second function. Same given, the f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 3 and the g of x is equal to 4x cubed plus 1. Ang gagawin lang dyan is lagyan mo ng parenthesis yung f of x and then g of x. In multiplying two binomials, gagamitin natin yung FOIL method. So, ang una yung first. So, meron tayong 2x squared times 4x cubed kasi yun yung first to first. Plus, 
yung outer, 2x squared times 1, kasi ito yung nasa labas, plus 3 times 4x cubed, kasi ito yung nasa inner term, plus 3 times 1, kasi last term, 3 times 1. Then, isimplify natin, 2x squared times 4x cubed is equal to 8x raised to 5. Plus, 2x squared times 1 is equal to 2x squared. Plus, 3 times 4x cubed is equal to positive 12x cubed. Plus, 3. So, good idea to put in descending order but not required. Pero kung gusto nyo namang ayusin, mas maganda in standard siya. Descending, mauna yung 8x raised to 5 plus 12x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3. Another operation on function is the division. So, in finding the quotient of f divides g times x is equal to f of x divided by g of x, excluding the values of x where g of x is not equal to 0. Kasi kagaya nga ng sinabi ko kanina, kapag naging 0 ang g of x natin, magiging undefined na siya. Hindi siya pwedeng maging 0. To find the quotient of two functions, put the first one over the second. Kagaya din kapag nag-divide ka ng mga whole numbers ng 5 over 10, ganon. So, f of x divided by g of x is simply 2x squared plus 3 over 4x cubed plus 1. Take note, kapag pwede mo pang i-factor itong numerator at yung denominator, pwede kang mag-reduce. Pero sa case na to, wala siyang common factor kaya ganyan na lang siya magtry tayo ng ibang given f of x is equal to 2x plus 5 and g of x is equal to x minus 4 find the sum of the f of x and g of x okay so simply pag adin lang natin sila 2x plus 5 plus x minus 4 so, combine like terms, 2x plus x is equal to 3x, 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. Another one, f of x natin is 2x plus 5, minus, ang g of x natin is x minus 4. So, first, i-distribute muna natin yung negative sign doon sa g of x. So, ang mangyayari, kopyahin muna ito, then distribute ito negative x negative times negative is equal to positive 4 kaya naging positive 4 then combine like terms 2x minus x ito pagsamahin yung magkapareho then 5 plus 4 ang final answer is 2x minus x is equal to x 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 in multiplying functions Okay, so, multiply 2x plus 5 times x minus 4. Lagyan muna natin ng parenthesis yung f of x, then, lagyan natin ng parenthesis yung g of x, then, gamitin natin yung FOIL method para makuha yung sagot. So, ang f is first term, so, 2x times x is equal to 2x squared. Yung outer, 2x times negative 4 is equal to negative 8x. Yung inner, 5 times x is equal to 5x. Then, yung last term, positive 5 times negative 4 is equal to negative 20. Then, combine like terms. Ito lang ang pwedeng pagsamahin. Negative 8x plus 5x is equal to negative 3x. So, ang magiging sagot niyan is 2x squared minus 3x minus 20. Next is division of function. Ang f of x natin is 2x plus 5. Ang g of x natin is x minus 4. So, simply 2x plus 5 over x minus 4. Hindi naman na pwedeng ma-factor yan. Wala na silang simplest form, kaya ito na yung final answer. Another given, f of x is equal to 2x plus 4 and g of x is equal to 5x minus 3. The quantity of f plus g times x is equal to 7x plus 1. Paano nangyari yon? Combine like terms. 2x plus 5x is equal to 7x. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Another one, the quantity of f minus g times x is equal to negative 3x plus 7. Remember, yung negative i-distribute dito sa g of x. So, ito magiging negative. Ito magiging positive. 
Okay, so 2x minus 5x is equal to negative 3x. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. So, the final answer is negative 3x plus 7. Then, multiplication. Okay, so sasagutan ninyo ng mabilisan. 2x times 5x is equal to 10x squared. The outer is 2x times negative 3 is equal to negative 6x. Next one is the inner. So, 4 times 5x is equal to positive 20x. Then, the last term is 4 times negative 3 is equal to negative 12. Okay, so, ang magiging final answer niyan, 10x squared. Combine like terms, negative 6x plus 20x is equal to positive 14x minus 12. Then, the last one, division. So, simply, f of x is equal to 2x plus 4 divided by 5x minus 3. Hindi na siya pwedeng isimplify, kaya ganyan na yung sagot. So, itry ninyo ito para malaman ko kung may natutunan kayo. Just comment down kung gusto ninyong malaman yung mga sagot at gagawa ako ng ibang video para dito. Kung interesado kayong malaman yung mga sagot, just comment down below ng with the hashtag operations on functions. Okay, so maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Kung meron kayong mga katanungan or clarifications, just comment down below. At kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na to, please like, subscribe, at share nyo na rin sa mga kaibigan ninyo. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and... Bye mga anak, sis!